Hi again guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today, and this time it's for a third version of the Mitsubishi GTO or 3000 GT lineup. And this version is actually more powerful than any of the other GTOs that I've done tune setups for. 942 horsepower from the mid-range turbo, and the particular model, as you can see, is the 1995 twin turbo GTO. So you want your racing soft tyres of course, we've got racing brakes obviously, for the suspension we've got the ride height on 90 front and rear, springs have increased slightly to 650 front and rear, dampers to 4, anti-roll to 5, camber on 2 with neutral toe. For the gearbox, as I said this is using the mid-range turbo so you do need slightly different gearing, so we've gone for an auto setting of 273, then for the individual gears we've got 3. 1875, 1310, 970, 750 and 600 with a final drive of 2.5. For the diff, obviously with all wheel drive, wheel spin isn't as much of an issue off the line, but we've got low initial torque anyway, high acceleration and low braking with a torque split of 3070. All the power upgrades of course, and as I said I've gone for the mid RPM turbo, and although I haven't fitted it, I would of course recommend having NOS and of course you want the full weight loss package. I would recommend using a manual gearbox with this one, I know a lot of you guys use manual gearboxes anyway, but just for those of you who are perhaps like me who don't, I would recommend using manual to get the best out of pretty much any car that requires a mid-range turbo really. So. As I said, this is the most powerful version of the GTO that I've tuned so far. Slightly more power than some of the newer models. That is of course using the mid-range turbo compared to the high-range turbo that the existing tunes that I've done used. So it's not strictly speaking faster than the others, it's just different. Because although it has more power, it also has a completely different power band and peak power RPM. So. The way that this tune can really be viewed isn't so much that this is a superior car, but this is kind of an alternative tune. So you can fit the high RPM turbo and use the tunes that I already have from my existing GTO setups, or you could fit the mid-range turbo and use this setup. And either way, this setup or my high-range setups can work on any of the GTOs that are of course turbocharged, because they all have very similar mechanicals and they deliver their performance in a very similar way. As far as performance, it pretty much breaks even with the high RPM turbo models because as I said it works in a different way. However, one of the advantages of this particular tune is as you can see you're sitting at less than 6000 RPM. So it's kind of like my Supra setup, very similar way, mid-range turbo, nice low revs in top gear so you've got tons and tons of draft potential. Considering that it's already doing 283 under its own power, you can easily slipstream this car to over 310, probably over 320 to be honest, easily over 330 with NOS. So a seriously quick car. I've featured it on a couple of my top 10 lists and it's for the most part a pretty underappreciated model. Not just this one but all of the GTOs and all of the 3000 GTs are kind of sleeper cars. There are some people who use it, but most people who go for this type of vehicle tend to go for the obvious choice, which is of course the Supra. But the GTO has certain advantages that the Supra doesn't have. For instance, all-wheel drive, whereas the Supra tends to wheel spin quite a bit off the line. This doesn't wheel spin hardly at all, you get that brutal launch. And whereas with the Supra, in some online races, it'll take you a little while to catch up to their slipstream. With this car, because of that launch off the line, it's just not a problem. So as I said, you can kind of use this as a two-way tune. You can go for the high RPM turbo kit and use my existing tune, or you can fit the mid-range turbo on any of them and use this tune. So it's kind of whichever one you prefer to use, really. So, if you're new to the channel and found this interesting or helpful in general, Feel free to subscribe, I put out new updated tunes and new top speed tunes like this every day. And as always, thanks for watching.